Hello, dear friends. January 25th, 2024. I hope your new year is going well. Long time no talk. I watched a video yesterday. It disturbed me so much that I, I ended up, right before I went to sleep, I, I was thinking about it. And then when I woke up, uh, these thoughts were swirling in my head, so I had to put them down on paper. So I made a few notes that I wanted to comment on about a video I seen with Richard Dawkins commenting on his interaction with Jordan Peterson. So, forgive me, I'm still recouping Barry from a slight cold, and uh, I'd simply like to share those thoughts with you for posterity. Um, I hope you're doing well. Uh, sorry about the water flowing in the background. You can hear that because we had a huge amount of snow recently, and everything now is melting. We're above zero. We were under zero degrees Celsius for many days, and now we are about three degrees, so everything is melting and you can hear the water flowing in the background, so sorry about that. But this is what I wanted to comment on Richard Dawkins on Jordan Peterson. He had an interview with this guy, and Dawkins says that he respects him, but he considers his ideas BS. And so, just very uh, two-faced of Richard Dawkins to say that. But anyway, this is what I wrote this morning. Uh, I don't know, 6 or 7 a.m. When I, when I couldn't sleep. Richard Dawkins recently commented on what he thought of Jordan Peterson's ideas on the Bible. Dawkins replied by stating that he had great respect for Peterson's battle against the woke agenda to cancel him and his fight for free speech, and yet considered his ideas to be bullshit. This comment displays the complete and utterly vile morality of the man Richard Dawkins. This was not some offhand comment spoken in haste nor was it in any way to, meant to be in jest. Dawkins went out of his way to repeat that he had great respect for Peterson, which of, com, which of course is a complete lie. Anybody who has even a modicum of respect for another would never call their ideas bullshit, right? For example, I have, I have no, absolutely no respect for Dawkins' infantile arguments on the creation of life, so I have no qualms about calling his book, The Selfish Gene, total bullshit. If I had respect for him or someone, I might be inclined to say, well, I have great respect for this individual's efforts in this area, but I have to strongly disagree with the areas on such and such a subject, right? That's an obvious example of what it means to display respect. You say, I, I respect this person a lot in this area, but I disagree in this other area. You don't say I respect somebody in this area, and then you say, oh, but he's full of shit on this. At least that's how it come across to me. Right? I mean, maybe people do that often, but it really is disingenuous. It's really a, a total lack of sincerity to say, I really respect this person, but, you know, and to immediately slag them in, in, the, in the very next breath. So I, I, I just think that is just total insincerity on, on Dawkins' part. His obvious ex example of what it means to display, Dawkins, on the other hand, is so disturbed by any comments that might even remotely ascribe any respect to God that he's compelled to use as disrespectful a term as one might imagine. I would remind any audience of Dawkins' comments on Peterson that it is Dawkins' ideas which are full of shit, right? His book, The Selfish Gene, wastes the reader's time with hours and hours of convoluted wordsmithing only to reach the mor moronic and intellectually stunted conclusion that the first cell just had to have happened and that eventually a cell just had to have been able to self-replicate. That's the, that's the summation of Dawkins' book, The Selfish Gene. When pressed, Dawkins even goes on to try and support his ignorant theories with the possibility of the first cells being created by an alien civilization. He's done that before. He will use any reasoning at his disposal to support his arrogant atheism, and that's exactly what his entire character consists of. He's so arrogant that he has set himself up as his own god. As far as his writings are concerned, Dawkins can best be described as an overpriced intellectual charlatan. One must pay an expensive price of time to get through his obtuse and blustering books, only to realize that this lame academic, that, th that this Dawkins, is completely and utterly without substance. Dawkins will be tormented in the eternal flames of regret when he finally wakes up and realizes that he's been a total fool. Creation itself has been a witness to his own soul. He has ignored the valuable witness of superior intellects, such as Peterson and many others throughout history, and instead has installed himself as his own Molech. 
a deaf and dumb idol who is miserable and poor and wretched. Richard Dawkins' false respect is yet another example of ex his extreme snobbish pomposity. It is he himself who is full of bullshit, and history will prove his ideas to have been the result of a mentally insignificant mind. History will prove his, his writings as a, as a stain on the intellectual advancement of humanity. That's all he is. Just total inconsequential. Dawkins' arguments are no different from the age-old example of the individual who finds a watch on the ground and proclaims, well, it just had to have assembled itself. His complete lack of sincerity in proclaiming respect for Peterson should be recognized for what it is, a blatant lie. A blatant lie from someone who is empowered and directed by the father of lies, the enemy of humanity himself. You know, he says, oh, I really respect him. Oh, but his ideas are bullshit. And what ideas, if I might just add, what ideas were he was he referring to? He was talking about the ideas of when Peterson uses uh, archetypal images, these ancient images, that, as in particular, um, that they use these intertwined snakes, and they represented uh, a helix, right, which is the same shape of a DNA, and so Dawkins dismisses this as bullshit. Well, it's not. It's not bullshit. It's an interesting question. Maybe he's just jealous that he didn't think of the question himself. You have this ancient image of intertwined snakes that comes up in various ancient paintings and symbolism and so on and it it forces one to ask the question how did they come up with that idea it could be coincidence it could be inconsequential but the question is valid it's not a trivial question to say how did how did they come up with this why didn't they just have two snakes facing each other but no they put them in this intertwined helix maybe they had some insight about the nature of the cell maybe they had some divine insight perhaps even about the nature of how life works and the nature of reality. It's a valid question. It's not inconsequential. But no, Dawkins uses that one example and calls Peter Smears Peterson's ideas as bullshit. It's Dawkins' ideas that are bullshit. His books are bullshit. His reasoning is bullshit. His his arguments are infantile. Dawkins is an intellectual stunt. He is nothing compared to Peterson, and yet he tries to dismiss Peterson always like Deepak Chopra, right? It is, it is Dawkins projecting his own ignorance to somebody that is his superior, and he wouldn't even give him the time of day, you know, forcing him to, to walk up alongside him, wouldn't even stop and chat with him for a short period of time because he considers himself so superior, so pompous, so arrogant. You know, and that is the same attitude that comes up with people like Hitchens. You know, they've been educated in the British system, so they feel they're superior to everyone else. They set themselves up as their own gods, and they refuse under any circumstances to acknowledge any other god but themselves. And anything that even remotely approaches giving acknowledgement to God, the creator of the universe, drives them into a frenzy, an absolute frenzy of envy hatred and maliciousness, and it comes out clearly in his speech. Dawkins has never been able to even come close to refuting when he was interviewed by Ben Stein, the wise old man who asked him, what would you say to God? And Dawkins weakly says, well, sir, why did you make yourself so difficult to find? What a, what a, what a ignorant liar Dawkins is, an absolute useless tool and a fool, because he had declared there is no God. And he will understand someday that there is a God. That's all I have to say about that. I pray you have a blessed day. God bless you. Pray for Richard Dawkins, whether he deserves it or not, that he might become enlightened before he has to face his maker. In any event, that disturbed me greatly, to see his lack of sincerity and to be so malicious towards a fellow academic who is striving to search for truth just as he is and out of spite or out of ignorance or just out of straightforward maliciousness he comes out with those harsh comments towards Peterson. It's, it's disgusting in my opinion. God bless you. Thank you for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.